Hey guys, my name is Simsy and welcome to the final episode of my FIFA 15 Tottenham Hotspur career mode. This is episode 9. So guys, first things first, as a disclaimer, I would just like to say there, there is no gameplay in this episode if you're new to my career modes. Usually the last, well, yeah, usually the last episode of the season goes through the squad report. How the other leagues shaped up around the world, we go through the player of the season the Golden Boot winner, and uh, whatnot. From time to time, there's Champions League. There's usually, there might be a Champions League football match. But nevertheless, guys, if you haven't gone and seen the last episode, I highly recommend you do. We won the Premier League. We won the FA Cup, and we won the Capital One Cup, thanks to our two fantastic signings, Gareth Bale and Modric. Guys, if you, like, predicted in the comment section down below that I win the Premier League, guys, give yourselves a pat on the back. Holy shit. If you got that right... Um, honestly, I'm really quite surprised that I managed to get Modric and Gareth Bale back to Tottenham in one season. And, uh, guys, also, let me know in the comments section down below, would you like to see Season 2 of the Tottenham Hotspur career mode? I don't hold a vote. I kind of have a general consensus. If I want to do Season 2 and a lot of people want to see it, I will do it. But let me know if you want to see any of any other of my particular career modes. Now, this video is kind of slow-paced. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at the stats. If you're curious, it's... It's basically, I don't know, I, I like doing these last sort of videos because I'm interested in the stats as well, um, as well as you guys. So looking at it, we won 52 matches, drew 5 and lost 5. The objectives to win the league, obviously they changed when I signed a contract to win the Premier League to get that 10 million of funding. Potential job openings that we could apply for, Everton and Liverpool. I find it quite funny that Everton want me to go manage them, Liverpool as well, but we managed to win uh, just, and Harry Kane, as you see there, I kind of left it as a cliffhanger in the last episode for, um, uh, to, to see whether or not he got top goal scorer of the league, and he did, which I'm happy about. Now guys, in the Champions League, look at this, Borussia Dortmund got all the way to the final with Bayern Munich and managed to slightly lose on penalties. My god, obviously they did sign David De Gea, so they obviously had a better season than they did in real life. So Harry Kane with 23 goals, followed by Wayne Rooney on 22, Sergio Aguero on 18, and Jermaine Defoe on 4th. Modric picked up with 11 assists, and Harry Kane was really up there for assists as well. But like I said, my main motivation in the first episode for this Tottenham Hotspur career mode was to play with Harry Kane and see how he would do if I played with him, and he played superbly. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. So we're going to be looking at the, the match facts for Tottenham, obviously. So both Vertonghen and Modric played 38 games. Um, Modric scored 11, Christian Eriksen scored 10, Paulinho scored a fair few as well. Modric and Harry Kane up there with the assists, of course. Danny Rose picked up 8 yellow cards. I didn't pick up a red card in this career mode, which is unlikely for me. I usually pick up at least one. But guys, we're going to be going through the standings around the world at the moment. You're most welcome to pause, like I said, at any point in time. This is nice and relaxed. Copenhagen managed to win the Danish League. Leicester, Burnley, and QPR have been relocated. Marseille actually won the League 1. And Paris Saint-Germain finished 5th. What the hell? Borussia Dortmund drew with Bayern Munich, but with goal difference, Bayern Munich went through to win the league. So that was a really tight league. It'll be interesting to go there now and play with Dortmund. FC Barcelona managed to win the La Liga, followed by Real Madrid and Atletico. That's always an interesting fixture as well. But guys, we better figure out who gets player of the season. Um, I'm hoping it's Harry Kane, and obviously I'm going to get manager. I've won four trophies and the Premier League in my first season. It'd be a, it'd be a crime if I didn't. And guys, I'm happy to announce Harry Kane has got player of the season, holy shit, but guys, we're going to end the season here, and then we're going to start off season two a little bit, now, obviously, over this window, when you end the career mode, you players can go up in stats, so I'm going to show you the squad report, and see if anyone's had any immediate growth over the break, because I find it quite interesting, because sometimes players can just shoot up, uh, but it's going to be interesting to see who got promoted, uh, seeing that Obviously, three go down and three go up every year. But Brad Friedel has gone down, which is unfortunate. Ruben here has gone up a little bit. Um, but yeah, not as many as in previous career modes. 
Grant Hall's gone up a little bit. Eric Dyer has gone up to a 76 overall. And Aaron Lennon is back. We have a little bit more money in the bank. Obviously not as much as in the first season because we had that 60% bonus thanks to EA. But guys, I'm going to officially end Season 1 of the Tottenham Hotspur Career Mode. Let me know in the comment section down below. Would you like to see Season 2? We have Champions League football this season. Hopefully we can win the FA Cup and the Capital One, and maybe, just maybe, win the Premier League for a second time. But I really want to focus on Champions League football if I do Season 2. But nevertheless, guys, thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this series and my channel. And above all, remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you watch this video. My name is Ben Simpsey. Good.